um, one of the articles I read was from the New York Times, and it talked through just the experience in your family home and how your the business started in the basement and your dad was always tinkering. And over dinner, you'd be listening to the radio and your dad at the t- kitchen table would be working on calibration. Can you talk a little bit more about that experience? Yeah, actually, uh, the dinner table was a um, the, uh, the final test department of Fluke Corporation <laughs> in the basement of my childhood home in Springdale, Connecticut. My dad would go down there at 6 a.m. in the morning and come back up at midnight every day, six days a week. And then on Sunday, we'd go for a Sunday drive. I would go down there after school around th- uh, 3 or 3.30. Uh, I would do some homework. For me, this started when I was about six years old in 1948 in Springdale, Connecticut. Typically, I would listen to uh, the radio, which was over right by the drill press. Uh, I listened to the, um, the Green Hornet, and sometimes I listened to Life Begins at 40. You know, these days, uh, um, life does begin at 40. The theme of that show was that, that, that by the time you turn 40, you were about to retire. And so you were over the hill and done with life. Oh. But, but that, that is that's hardly the, the situation today. Right. <laughs> Um, it, it's just an amazing um, experience that you're able to see your your family in action and to to own that piece of history. 